welcome to another video episode of my podcast. My name is Cheryl and this is Cappuccino Crafts, and my little channel on YouTube and my corner of the general interwebs where I like to talk about knitting and crochet and books and TV and movies and other life and general chatty things that I want to share with you. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and spend a little bit of your time with me. I really hope that you enjoy it. And today is a special episode. Um, it's going to be a little bit different and I am taking a vacation. Yes, uh, an imaginary virtual vacation, if you will, <laughs> um, because it's not really realistic to travel right now for definitely for myself, but for a lot of people with the situation we find ourselves in. So I have really been daydreaming about traveling and wanting, needing to get away and different environment, different landscape. Um, and it kind of really got started when I watched a video on um, books like Woe, Mara's booktube channel, which is a wonderful booktube channel. Um, and she reads a lot of different kinds of things, a really wide variety of genres. So um, on her channel, there's a little bit of something for most people. And um, she's just a, a great uh, personality in her videos, too. So um, she made a video about basically books to travel with, books to take you on an armchair vacation which um i know i needed and maybe you need to uh so i am encouraging you if this sounds like a wonderful idea please um i hope you will also um plan and go on your own virtual imaginary vacation wherever you dream of going whether it be a real world or whether it be a magical or science fiction or future or past historical fiction world. Um, anyway, yeah, so that really got me seriously thinking and daydreaming and wanting to travel so much and I started thinking about, well, Maybe where would I want to go? What books might I want to, what books might take me somewhere? Because definitely for this project, you need a book with a very, very strong sense of place and really evocative descriptions and details that can um, help put you in that different environment. So I started compiling a list. I did some uh, internet searches and um, looked through my Goodreads, want to read. And the areas I was most interested in uh, traveling to were somewhere in Europe because uh, I have always fantasized about um, traveling around Europe. Um, I would really love to see Paris. I would really love to see just in general, like Italy and France and um, just all around. There's so many, and, and also England and Scotland and Ireland I'd love to go to. Um, so kind of in that broad region or um, Japan, because I have been 
collecting in my Goodreads want to read some Japanese fiction because I haven't really read any, but I've been very curious about starting to explore Japanese fiction. And um, I know I mentioned it in a video a long time ago, but I um, have, I did spend uh, five years living in South Korea. So I've lived in Asia and, and uh, not in Korea is not that far from Japan. I actually kind of regret I never made a trip to Japan while I was living over there. But anyway, so I just have a fondness for Asia and I hadn't made it to Japan yet. I've been really curious about Japanese literature. So I thought that made sense for uh, an armchair travel bookish vacation. Um, so on those two, two sides, I started making a list of books and seeing what was available at my library and what sounded really good to me. Um, and I am leaving today. Today is, today I am taking off on my trip. I am ready to go. I have my green tea. This is Asian Pear Harmony by Bigelow just from my grocery store. Um, I, I've been drinking this tea for a while. I, um, I've been buying it from the grocery store, but I really like it. And it's a lovely green tea with a little bit of pear flavor. So I've got my tea in my very special Japanese tea mug. I have some East Asian snack mix with those delicious rice crackers and wasabi peas and nuts, which is delicious. And I have the project that I started last week. I have my Japanese garden shawl. And this is how far I've gotten. And I am loving it. It's so beautiful. This shawl is by Yana Huck. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right, but I will give you the spelling. Um, but a really, really lovely, pleasant knit. And it's got some different textures in it. And I love this yarn. It's a uh, BC Garn Soft Silk, which is a raw silk. So it's not super shiny. It's got texture to it. It's a little bit nubby and slubby and really lovely for this design. Um, so I think now <laughs> you know where I ended up for my destination. Yes, I am going to Japan today. I've got for a little um, mascot or companion, a little uh, Japanese doll that my cousin bought me years ago um, with a little note tucked inside from her. And I just think she's adorable. And I thought she was so cute for this video and so cute for the, um, so cute for photos. So, um, she will be coming along with me. And, ah, uh, I don't know her name. Maybe I should give her a name. Anyway, she's a little bit broken. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a little top heavy. So she's kind of toppled over a few times and the little butterfly, its wings have kind of broken off, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I think she's still so sweet. Um, anyway, and books. 
the most important travel vehicle, I have two books that are available right now uh, in ebook or audio version from my library in the app. And I am going to get them today and begin one of them. One of them is short, really short. It's um, like two longish short stories or two novellas, like short novellas put together. And it's called Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. Now, as you may suspect, that is a pen name. It is not the author's actual name. Uh, but it is a pen name she uses, but she is actually a very, very well-known author that writes more, more novels, um, maybe a different style of novel. I don't know. This is the first thing I've ever read from her, but she also has a lot of famous novels under her own legal name, and I can't remember what the, her actual name is, so I'm not going to try and mess it up and tell you the wrong one. Um, and the other is a longer novel, and it is um, A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. And it is kind of... Um, Part of it is in Canada, and part of it is in Japan. Um, and it's, anyway, I am excited to try that. I, there is, I think, going to be a little bit of time jumping and timey wiminess, which I think sounds very fun. I think it, there might be a little bit of fabulism going on, um, not quite realistic. Um, which I am totally game for. And doo -doo -doo. so, yes, mm, another sip of green tea. So, today, Sunday, August 6th, I am beginning my journey and going to Japan. Um, I wonder, where would you like to go? What kind of virtual vacation would you plan for yourself? And um, if this sounds like a fun idea to like choose a, a book or two and try and get yourself in a, in a mood, in an atmosphere for a different place, a different part of the world, a different landscape, different architecture. Um, where would you want to go? And um, if that sounds like fun, I hope that you would will do it. Because um, I think we all need a vacation. <laughs> we all need to travel a little bit. Um, I really hope that you will tell me about it in your comments where you want to go. Um, maybe what books you are interested in, in reading to take you there. Um, and anything else. What food you might want to eat or um, what music you might want to listen to. I do think I want to make a playlist of some music to uh to also in be more immersive and enhance the enhance the experience please travel safe and take a map mark chart your course and um happy travels see you next time bye bye